Let's uh, wish you to that. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, one second to all of you. This is where we had uh, stopped, I think, last time. Uh, do you have any problem so far? In understanding, no. uh, you find any difficulty that you have uh, understood it well? You can ask me right now. Yes. And then we begin with the next slide. If you want to ask me any question? You can ask me now. No, ma'am. If you said no, ma'am, better. That means you know everything. Ma'am, can I read? I'm asking a question. Answer me first. If you say you don't have any problem, how come I don't get marks? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I asked you a question. I think I'm waiting for your doubts to be clear. There's no answer from your side. No, you ma'am. You ask me any question or you know everything so far? No, ma'am. No doubt. So, do you want to ask me any question? No. Let's start. Let's see over here. How do we come from fire? What is this? What is this? It's a fire brigade. Isn't it better? This is how the fire brigade yeah. works. You see this? There's a ladder. A person goes on top, and with the help of a water hose, the fire is extinguished. The fireman is extinguishing the fire. Right, better? Yes. Fireman extinguishing fire using water as extinguishing. Can you see this? It is a truck is on fire. Can you see this? A truck is on fire, and the person, a firefighter, is trying to extinguish the fire with the help of water. What what is he using? Water, isn't it better? Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is he using? He's using fire. Sorry. He's using water to extinguish the fire. Let's see how this fire extinguishing works. Please read it. Ma'am, can I read? Fire extinguisher. The most common fire extinguisher is water. But water works only when things like wood and paper are on fire. If electrical equipment is on fire water may conduct electricity and harm those trying to douse the fire water is also not suitable for fires involving oil and petrol do you do you recall that water is heavier than oil so it sinks below the oil and oil keeps burning on top for fires involving electrical equipment and inflammable materials like petrol carbon dioxide is the best extinguisher carbon dioxide being heavier than oxygen covers the fire like a blanket so the common fire extinguisher that we all are using is water. Right, Bitter? 
But can you use water everywhere? No. no. Can you use water everywhere? No. Right, Peter? So when are we using this water? When we, the fire is with wood and paper. Then and then only the water works. Is this clear? So if you think the forest fire, there is a forest fire, and due to paper, the papers are burning, you can use water. But if there is electrical equipment which is on fire, what will water do? It will conduct electricity and we may get killed. Do you understand? If the fire is due to electricity and you use water, water is a good conductor of electricity. You should know that. We will be shocked, we will be electrocuted and we may die. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. So, is this clear? So, when the fire is due to electrical appliances, never use water in short. Because we may be killed. Also, if the fire is due to oil or petrol, then also you cannot use water. Why? Why better? Because water is heavier than oil. And if at all you are using water, the water will go down the oil. How can it extinguish fire then? So that is also not possible. Because the water sinks below oil and oil keeps on burning on top. So using water is also not advisable. Now if we are talking about electrical equipment and uh, inflammable or combustible materials like petrol, what we should use? We should use carbon dioxide. What should we use better? Carbon dioxide. So it's the best extinguisher. Because CO2, why? Because it is heavier than oxygen and it will just blanket, it makes a blanket and it, look, that's uh, the entry of oxygen. Because you know that carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen. And so it makes a blanket around the fire and it extinguishes the fire. Is this clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Since the contact between the fuel and oxygen is cut off, the fire is controlled. The added advantage of carbon dioxide is that in most cases it does not harm the electrical equipment. How do we get the supply of carbon dioxide? It can be stored at high pressure as a liquid in cylinders in what from is the LPG stored in cylinders when released from the cylinder carbon dioxide expands enormously in volume and cools down so it not only forms a blanket around the fire it also brings down the temperature of the fuel. That is why it is an excellent fire extinguisher. Extinguisher. So what are we doing? We are cutting the contact of the fuel and oxygen. Right, Vita? That is what a fire extinguisher is doing. What are we doing? We are not allowing the oxygen from the air to, to help the burning process. That is the work of the fire extinguisher. 
when you are cutting off the entry of oxygen putting a blanket around the fuel the fire is controlled this carbon dioxide that we are using in fire extinguisher it is not harming the electrical equipment remember that and it can control the fire as well so from where we are getting the supply of carbon dioxide now this carbon dioxide is stored in cylinders where is it stored beta in cylinders at high pressure in the form of liquid in cylinders the same thing we get in lpg liquefied petroleum gas under high pressure lpg is made you know that with high pressure so whenever you are giving pressure to the gas it becomes liquid remember that now how is this lpg which is stored in cylinders in the form of liquefied petroleum gas you should know that when you are releasing this from the cylinder obviously the carbon dioxide gas it increases in volume and cools down it is forming a blanket around the fire and also when it cools down it is also taking down the temperature of the fuel right beta so in two ways it is controlling the carbon dioxide in the cylinder one it is making a blanket around the fuel or the building and does not allow the entry of oxygen so it controls the fire second it is getting the getting down the temperature of the fuel so it is decreasing the temperature of the fuel so automatically automatically the fire will get under control so this is why carbon dioxide which is used in fire extinguisher is a best example for controlling the fire any problem no ma'am all of you no problem beta beta ma'am did i Who is it? Have you read it earlier? Then ask others to read it. That will be better. All of you should get the chance if you want. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If you can explain, you do. You want to read? You read. Fire extinguisher CO two. Carbon dioxide is a very effective extinguisher in all the cases, especially involving electrical appliances and all. As in such cases, water cannot be used. Now, which extinguisher is the most effective? With a carbon dioxide. This you should put in your mind. Carbon dioxide extinguisher is the most effective. fire extinguisher in most of the cases whether this is made up of uh, the fire is uh, due to wood due to paper in all types of fire carbon dioxide is the best extinguisher right beta understood yes but the yes, best yes, for electrical yes, appliances you know that but yes we can use it for the fire which is caused due to wood or paper we can use it everywhere we are using for electrical appliances no doubt of, about it but we are using it for wood as well as paper so it is you can see universal very effective extinguisher and it's involving electrical appliances and oil as well because in those cases we cannot use water right beta you can see yes ma'am Or a fire extinguisher. Okay. 
Need better? Please read better. I'm Zahra. We must never use water to put out an oil fire because oil floats on water and the fire would spread more. We must never use water to put out an electric fire because the person spraying water can receive an electric shock. What did you understand? Can you explain? If you wish to. There's no uh, force better. There's no imposition. If you wish, if you feel like, then you can explain. If uh, it's oil fire inspired due to oil, then we should never use water because water can spread fire more because oil floats on water. And okay. second point Next. is if it's electric fire, like in the switchboard or anywhere electric fire, then also we should never use water because the one who is using water can also receive a electric shock. So because water is a good conductor of, of electricity. You know that, right, Vita? Yes. Water is a conductor. That's the reason that when we are ironing, when we are using the press to iron your clothes, we use bathroom slipper, isn't it? Yes. Otherwise, you will get the current. Fine. So, if the fire is caused due to oil, we cannot use water. Isn't that better? Why? Because you know that oil always flows in water. And if you put water to extinguish the fire, the water will go down and the oil will come up. So it is useless. And it may also happen that the spreading of fire may enhance, may become more. Also, we should not use water for electrical appliances. Because when we are spraying the water, we can also get the electric shock. Why? Because water is a good conductor of electricity. Is this clear? So what, yes. what we should not do, Vita? We should not use water for oil and for electric appliances. Is this clear? Yes, Why? You know the answer. Because if we use water for oil, the oil fire can spread more. A disaster will be more. And secondly, if you are using for electrical appliances, then we may get shocked or killed. Any problem? Any problem, Peter? Now this is a division. Please go through it. Methods of controlling fire. Number one, by using water. Water is the most common fire extinguisher. It can be used only when materials like wood, paper, etc. are on fire. Water cannot be used if electrical equipments are on fire because water conducts electricity and can harm those trying to put out the fire. Water cannot be used to put out oil and petrol fires because they float on water and continue to burn. That's it. I want to have we, have we learned about it already? Is there something new that you find in this slide so far? Hello? Yes, ma'am. If you can, then explain. Because we have already learned about it in the earlier slide. There's nothing new in it. So if you wish to explain, you can. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I try? 
Why? Why not? The first is saying that water is the most common fire extinguisher. Means if any time we have fire, then we use water first. So water is only used when the fire is like on wood, on paper. Water cannot be used. What we should electric. know better? What we should know first? That how is the fire? How the fire is caused? The source we should know. Do you think we always know the source of fire? My question to all of you. Whenever a fire extinguisher is a fire brigade is moving to the place where there is a fire, do we know that whether this fire is due to electricity, due to oil, or due to wood? Do we know or not? No, we do not know. So generally, what we send, fire brigade. Do you agree with me? Hello. Do you agree with me or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What we send, we send fire brigade, isn't it? Yes. So, to spray water before spring water, we should know the cause of fire. Am I right? Yes. 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 Then continue. We will question each other. You know, keep on asking questions to ourselves only. That's how you will improve better. That's why I'm asking you to explain. It will take time. Does not matter. But you will express your ideas in your own words. Is this clear? You're not going to copy me. We are not going to copy the book, but you will have your own version. You will have your own ways, you will have your own methods. Is this understandable? Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is how you have to improve. Okay, Peter? And that will lead to gaining of confidence. You will become confident very soon without your knowledge. That is, you can do it without my help. This is what I want. Yeah. I want you to be independent, Peter. Yes, okay? that's true. Sure, thank you. Continue with them. Then water, as we learned before, that what we should not use water while if an electrical fire is happened. Okay. Like on has switchboard happened. and... If electrical fire has happened, not is, it has to be has, right? Yes. Next. And then last is... Like we should not use fire when there is an oil fire because oil floats on water and uh, the fire may get spread more. Okay, that's good. Very well. How the fire will spread? Because when you are putting uh, water on the oil, the oil breaks, isn't it? And the water goes down. So when it breaks, it moves away from each other, so fire spreads. Do you understand what I'm saying? So see what I'm trying to show you. This is the layer of oil, on the, and this is water, and this is oil. Right, Bitta? Now I'm throwing water, in, so it will break, it will break, and when it breaks, it goes away. Yes or no? When it breaks, it goes here, so it is spreading, and the water comes down. So it is not helping, but it is spreading the fire. Understood or not? Yes, ma'am. All of you? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma Okay, fine. So we are spreading the fire when we are putting the, uh, like, water extinguisher. And it will not stop burning because oil is already on fire. So water will go under the layer of oil and it's not going to extinguish the uh, fire due to oil, but actually it is enhancing, it is increasing the fire because the fire is going to spread. Because oil being lighter than water is already on top and that is on fire. Now we come to Carbon dioxide. Number two, by using carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is the best fire extinguisher to put out fire caused by inflammable materials like oil and petrol 
and electrical equipments. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air and it covers the fire no, and cut no. Just a moment. You find lots of noise. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Do you find uh, too much of noise from my end? No, ma'am. Okay, there is something. No, I, on the corridor, there were so many people, so I thought maybe. Okay, continue. Carbon dioxide is the best fire extinguisher to put out fire caused by inflammable materials like oil and petrol and electrical equip equipments. Carbon dioxide is heavier than air and it covers the fire and cuts off the supply of oxygen and puts out the fire. Carbon dioxide is stored at high pressure as liquid in cylinders. Chemicals like sodium, ma'am, what is that? Bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate. Just one moment. Zeta, just one moment. Never get stuck. That's why I did not help you. You got my point? Just want to show you. For any matter, try. Give it a try. What you will do? Whenever there's a big word, what you will do? You will split it. How many times? By carbonate. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. This is how you will split and learn. Okay? Yes. Be independent. That is what this is how you have to learn. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I'll try for the next time. Thank you. So, what is sodium bicarbonate? Baking soda. Now you understood? Your mama using baking soda for making uh, cakes or pastries, or cookies. Right, Vita? Yes. Yes. So, for making bread also, pizza bread, or whatever, anything which gets fluffy, the baking soda actually is adding carbon dioxide to it. You should know that. Right, Vita? Yes. So, what are these? These are chemicals. What are these? These are chemicals, which produces carbon dioxide. Next. What is the other name? Potassium. Bicarbonate. What are they producing better? Carbon dioxide. Hope you have understood. Yes. What is carbon dioxide doing? Can you explain? Whatever you can explain, do it. Rest I will take care. If you think you just if you just read it out, do you think you can be able to explain? Maybe half, maybe little, does not matter. At least you try. Rest I will take on the charge. Do you want me to explain? Yes, ma'am, you only. <laughs> okay. No, no, no problems. Fine. Now, first, we, what we saw, Bitta? Water. First, what we saw? Water. Water. Now, what we are seeing? Carbon dioxide. Right, Bitta? So that's the difference. So, water as a fire extinguisher, and now carbon dioxide as a fire extinguisher. Right, Bitta? Now, what we say that if we compare water and carbon dioxide, so carbon dioxide is the best fire extinguisher. What I will say, it is the best fire extinguisher. Why? Because it has got some advantages. Let's see one by one. Now, this carbon dioxide can be used as a fire extinguisher. What are they doing? It can put out fire. What it can do with that? It can put out fire. Which is produced by inflammable materials, that way which you can burn, like oil and petrol and electrical equipment. So here water cannot be used, so only carbon dioxide can be used for the fire, which is caused by either petrol or oil or electrical equipment. Now, how does it do it? Let's see. You know carbon dioxide? Any day it is heavier than Air. You know that carbon dioxide gas is heavier than oxygen actually. And what it is doing? It covers, it makes a blanket around the fire. What it does with the 
it makes a blanket around the fire and it is cutting off the supply of oxygen so obviously the fuel will not get the oxygen and it will stop burning have you understood yes ma'am then in one line explain what is carbon dioxide is doing just in one line whatever i said you just in one line explain what how carbon dioxide is helping to put off the fire carbon dioxide uh, cut off the supply of oxygen very good and secondly it is bringing down the temperature of the fuel isn't it beta yes that is what we learned earlier in the earlier slide remember yes now how we are putting this carbon dioxide how we are using this carbon dioxide you have to store somewhere how do we store we store in small cylinders right beta in the red color cylinders we are storing at high pressure as liquid in cylinders so what are the chemicals that we are taking sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda and potassium carbonate like carbon uh, they are producing carbon dioxide near the fire so these are the chemicals that are used in the cylinder and when we let it out what is released carbon dioxide gas is released is this clear yes so what is in the cylinder sodium bicarbonate or potassium bicarbonate is this clear yes, yes ma'am any problem do you want to ask any question now regarding this water and carbon dioxide beta make things simpler for yourself beta always be blank when you be with me but when you leave me you should have this much of knowledge do you get me what i'm saying when you join me you be blank but when you leave me have lots of things to add up okay Hello. Is it okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Have you understood what I said? First of all. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now we see how the fuel burn. What are the types of burning? Again, I repeat. What are the types of burning? So we see types of combustion. How does the fuel burn? Read with us. Ma'am, may I? Sure, brother. Thank you, ma'am. I know. Yes. What's it? I know. Is it a type of combus combustion? There are three main types of combustion. There are uh, there are rapid combustion, spontaneous, spontaneous. combustion. and explosion rapid combustion is combustion in which a substance burn rapidly and produce heat and light with the help of external heat example burning of lpg spontaneous combustion is combustion in which a substance burns spontaneously and produce heat and light without the help of external again. heat is it again spontaneously spontaneous combustion is com uh, is combustion in which a substance burns spon spontaneously and produce heat and light without the help of external heat example phosphorus burns spontaneously at room temperature room temperature explosion in a in a com combustion in which a substance burns uh, suddenly and produces heat light and sound with the help of heat or pressure example explosion of crackers and uh, crackers on applying heat or pressure thank you now we have three types of combustion namely rapid spontaneous explosive what does this rapid means very fast right beta 
Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Rapid means very fast. Spontaneous. Now and then. Spontaneous means now and then. Spontaneously means you give the heat and it starts burning. It's like that. Explosion with lots of pressure, it comes out. It it bursts. That is called explosion, isn't it? And we will do one by one. First, we will do rapid combustion. The substance burns rapidly. In rapid combustion, what is happening? A substance burns rapidly. And what it produces better? Heat and light. But can it produce on its own? No. We have to use the lighter, isn't it better? What are we using? Either the mastic or the lighter to burn LPG. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Without, if it, uh, I'm putting it on, the gas is on, but I'm not giving any energy to it. Will it burn? No. It needs the mastic or the lighter to burn, isn't it? That is called as rapid combustion. Is this clear to all of you? Example yes, LPG. Is this clear? Yes. Now no. we come to okay. Now we come to spontaneous combustion. This is a combustion when the fuel burns, and again it produces heat and light, but external heat is not required. Is this clear? Is this clear? That means I'm not using lighter, I'm not using mastic, but still it is burning. That is called a spontaneous combustion. Is this clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes? Okay. For example, phosphorus is highly explosive. Now, at room temperature, phosphorus can burn on its own. See, you don't have to get a mastic, and the mastic and bring it close to the phosphorus. No. You don't have to get a mastic, you don't have to get lighter, the phosphorus, and that too should be white phosphorus. You know that? It automatically catches fire. How? At room temperature. That's so dangerous. This is the example. Now we come to explosive. So what do we got the difference in rapid and spontaneous bitter? In rapid, you have external health. In spontaneous, without external heat, this is the difference between the rapid and the spontaneous combustion. Example of rapid is LPG. Example of spontaneous is phosphorus at room temperature. Starts burning on its own. Then we come to explosion. Here, the substance of the fuel produces Heat and light, along with heat and light, it is producing sound. What it is producing with a sound? Yes? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yes? So, everywhere you can see heat and light is produced, heat and light is produced, but here, heat, light, and sound is produced. That is explosion. Is this understandable? Yes, ma'am. And it's happening suddenly, you know? Suddenly it happens. Is this understandable? What is the example? Crackers. What is the example? Crackers. Any problem? No, ma'am. So, this is clear? Today's session yes, is clear, Vita? Nicely? Nicely? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's nice then. So I think we come to the close of today's uh, lecture. One minute is remaining. Do you want to ask me any question? Because I will be needing some more time for, because this is totally uh, different uh, division. It's regarding types of combustion, no doubt about it, but I need some more time. So if you want to ask me any question, please ask. You want to ask me any question, Vita? No, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Okay, that which? You have not given me out of out, by the way. 
you always say no ma'am but when uh, it comes to exams that that becomes uh, yes ma'am we do not know anything it's like that yes girls if you say no ma'am that means you should give me out of out am i right or wrong right when you don't have any problems that means you know each and everything now how come i don't get good result right So uh, we call it a day, beta. Have a good day and enjoy.